yeah. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I really need help. Like I really hit a problem now. You seeing what's happening here? Um, I I got a drive a while ago, like a taxi, but the car was too low for the bag feeding to come up, so I have to go for the dog food. You understand? So this is Athena and Sheila. So what I have to do is I have to take this wheelbarrow down to the driveway. Look, that's the driveway. About 500 feet or 600 feet of driveway. Um, yeah. And then in the house. I guess the struggles make me more interesting, right? So, I just let out all the dogs. <laughs> no, it's time to try and go. <laughs> this is how far the wheelbarrow is. Look. Oh my God, you guys. You guys. So I just have to let out the dogs. I'm going down there now. Yeah, guys, it's a good look. Guys, the driveway is going in further. Look, it's almost by where the wheel is. So that means the driveway is going to collapse soon. OMG, you guys, I need to fix, I need to fix this dip on here on the driveway because it's a little stream right there. So I need to fix the driveway now. You guys, look at that. So here I have all the dog foods. For all my pretty puppies. And the wheelbarrow. Yeah, you see the dog food come? You ready for food, eh? All right, guys. All right, guys. So, two, six is eight, so six trips. I guess so. I don't know you guys. I never studied much in school, so everything is awesome. Alright, so this is the first trip.
going to do is I'm just leaving everything halfway, like at least it's in the yard. So, if you should see me right now, I am sweating. You feel sorry for me, Benji? You feel sorry for me? Oh my, you guys, it's a lot of work. Farm life not easy. See, Veronica, sorry for me. Come here, Miss Veronica. Hey. Yeah, guys. I do it for the doogies. My dog, them have to live. Hey, my dog, them have to live. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys. Woo. I have to take a break you guys no joke a little coffee in me this from this morning gone worn out who you guys i'm so tired listen there's a lot of hard work that goes on when you're trying to climb up that ladder it's not gonna ever be easy it will never be easy if it come easy it goes easy so you guys, for all who pretend like they want to come and work on the farm, and then when you're actually living the lifestyle of the farm, especially when you're in a community that's not used to living with dogs, right? Like an American lifestyle, basically, with American standards. Come inside, Tina! right they think you're crazy but in fact i think they are crazy because i have people who i am paying to help me work and they're pretending like they're not actually working they're doing me a favor so you know i try to be nice to people and like i said they always take advantage of me and my persona and there's always some ulterior motive but we won't really get into that but you guys i am now currently looking for another workman as per usual i'm having problems working with um people because you have very pretentious people who pretend like they are with you when they are just looking out for themselves and um every time i'm supposed to carry like dog food or whatever as soon as i pay the rasta man he leaves and then i have to do all the work myself so you know um i actually had to he left the job actually he said he's tired of me and tired of the farm and he is bowing um that's his term um that is a term when lowering your standards so he's actually <laughs> lowering his standards and he's above the farming and he's an industry man and he just took the pay and then say i owe him money and gone drama police station he has my house key i had to call the police on him so i could get my house key so it's like a lot of drama you guys like um i'm just tired of people trying to use me and trying to pretend like yes they're here for me when actually they are out for themselves not saying nothing is wrong with looking after yourself or looking about yourself but actually the farm is in the beginning stages so i cannot really provide all the necessary amenities even though i give him basically he um after i was sick he lived in with me and um pretty much you know long story short i feed him i make sure he gets paid and he doesn't have to use his salary i make sure that he doesn't have to buy food and i bought um a small bed for him so he can sleep comfortably but he said he does not feel comfortable living with me or living with the dogs because he has ulterior motives and I don't know you guys but anyway 
I need another worker and I'm not gonna hire him back I am sorry you guys it's very unprofessional and I'm trying to take my life to the next level and I do not care what anybody thinks um, I know that he's saying I'm, I owe him but I fully paid him up and um, I give him like you can tell you can you can look into the community if you know me you can know that like um i give him food come inside come 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 i don't eat fish like that and every day i have to be eating fish and i try to conform to his rasta man living but that's not enough and he's trying to tell me like the animals are not important and i should not um come inside So he's telling me that the animals aren't important and thing. I bike passing you guys, hold on. For example, um I had come inside, come. For example, I had um some issues where I haven't received my YouTube earnings as yet and the donations also i haven't got paid any donations from december and also january but um like i was mountain now a person sent me a hundred dollars which i thank you big up to miss chain from port um port maria um yeah my subscribers they don't like when i talk about the donations like they don't want me to call their names or anything but i'm bigging you guys up regardless like they don't want to be like out there they just want to help me with my farm and just when they can they help me and i appreciate that so anyways um my youtube earnings weren't coming in because it fall on a weekend so i wasn't able to pay and then i ran out of money like two weeks before the youtube payment supposed to come in and um you know i, I don't know you guys but um somebody told me that probably he likes me and um probably i was not giving him the time of day that's why he gets upset because like i said he had an ulterior motive and um that is the main reason why i'm actually happy that he left because there are a couple incidents where he was very unprofessional and um just very unprofessional and yeah and some things went down with with, with um some other persons that I don't wish to really speak about because they're not relevant um yeah so it's like i don't know people trying to use me people know i'm a youtuber um people pretend like they don't know me and they know me that is um you know so it's kind of like that's why i need my own vehicle and i just want to like stay by myself I, I will socialize with my fans but i don't want someone to come up to me knowing that i am farmer girl jess and then pretending like they don't know me and then after i'm gone like oh that's you that's that's you like they can't believe it's me i'm a normal girl i don't consider myself to be vip or a celebrity or i think that i am famous i am not famous i am not a celebrity i am i don't even know what i am but i'm not feeling what you guys are hyping up to say like what i am because I, at the end of the month as I get paid, I'm broke. Um, I'm still taking taxes. I'm still taking the bus. Um, my place not finished yet. Um, I haven't finished the plumbing in the bathroom. There's a list of things I can tell you guys. Like, you guys, there's a lot of hard work on the farm. I'm just wanting to know, like, oh, you want to go? She's tired of me, you guys. <laughs> I just want you guys to know, like, I love and appreciate the support but um please do not come with any ulterior motives because when i come on here i come genuinely as myself so i would appreciate all my fans or my so-called fans or the haters to just show your support and show your love and support your girlfriend girl just you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of hard work i put on the fan you can't deny that and I know i know what i do looks easy but it's very complicated it's very hard it's not very easy to work on youtube and run a farm you understand 
I have other you I've been interviewing other YouTubers where they're saying it's kind of hard to edit, even put upload three times for the last four months, almost every single day. If I miss a day, it's because my internet is down. If I miss two days, it's because my internet is down. I have videos like on top of videos, on top of videos. And I always find something to record. I don't know you guys. It just come natural to me. Anyways, love and I appreciate you guys. Listen, we're going to take up the rest of this. <clears throat> take up the rest of this dog food. I have two bags left from the eight bags. You guys, I am tired. <laughs> okay. Yeah, guys. Oh, look at Benjamin. Hello. Hi. All right, we're gonna go inside now. You guys, the steam fishing on my back done already. Oh Jesus, I popped down. I can't carry this no more, man. You guys, I'm a mash up, man. I still have feed right in there, so. Yo, you guys, my back I hurt me, you guys. Woo! Yes, you guys. Body mash up. <laughs> Oi, oi, oi. All right, come let me feed you now. Come, feeding time. Where is the prince? Okay, make sure you secure the bag. You see, guys? Prince is securing that bag. Hey, leave him. Don't beat him. <laughs> prince securing the bag. Yay. <laughs> Louis, stop. No, these two will never get on. And Lou is the one always looking to fight. No, Louis, don't fight him. All right, guys, I'm gonna try feed these dogs, rest my back, feed my goats. Yeah, guys, it's a good look. Woo, my body hurts. I'm hurting. Yeah, guys, I'm hurting. Ooh, some painkillers for the eye. Right, Gucci? Gucci. Painkillers for mommy. Woo. You guys. I went and treat myself. I got me some shoes. I don't have any shoes. I'm always wearing these shoes. Went and bought me some nice shoes. Don't know where I'm going to put them. You can understand? Guys, yeah, see the bed I buy for the man here? And everything. And I have sheets and blanket for him no that was not good enough he wants to go into my bed you guys crazy the audacity of it all though crazy you guys biggie stop i'm gonna feed these dogs before them start making a lot of noise because they're hungry you know guys i didn't feed them yesterday so was out of cash you guys it was completely out of cash so yeah what you guys don't understand is youtube doesn't pay every month they pay every other month so every other month that money is already booked out for the next month if you know what i'm trying to say like yeah at least I get in the farm. I using the YouTube donations and the YouTube revenue to build my farmhouse, to build my kennels, to expand my goat pen, all of that. So yeah, you guys, I'm letting the secret out. I'm using YouTube to basically power my farm. Prince? Okay. <laughs> Prince was sleeping like like he was out hey prince you're out hey hey that's too rough <laughs> all right i don't feel him now guys feeding time